So uh, someone asked about the inversion of the lids, and uh, yeah, I agree, especially in Asian, sometimes inverting the lids can be difficult, and especially if the patient has a lot of blepharospasm, uh, inverting the lids can be difficult. Uh, certainly, if you use a bit of local anaesthetic first, can be helpful. And this is what we call double eversion. So, so single eversion is where uh, you get your cotton bud, you hold the lashes, and you put the cotton bud uh, on the upper lid and you, you flip the uh, lid up over the cotton bud. So that's single eversion. And single eversion will allow you to see just under the tarsal plate, uh, which is like the half of the top lid. If you really want to look for foreign bodies in, say, the superior fornix, you have to do what they call double eversion. So this is getting a cotton bud uh, moistened with uh, local anaesthetic and placing it under the fold of that first eversion and lifting it up and getting the patient looked down and as you can see you can see right up into that superior fornix and it's surprising what you can find in that superior fornix like this is a patient that uh, was sitting at his computer and he felt something going in his eye and he didn't think much of it, but after about a week, it was really irritating his eye, causing swelling of his eyelid. And he opened uh, up his uh, eye and got him to look down. He could see the subconjunctival hemorrhage there. And when you flipped his lid and, and just did a slight double eversion, uh, you you'd actually could see this little foreign body here when you pulled it out that was actually a bit of a cockroach leg uh, sitting there so that was that was pretty gross but you can imagine you know uh, something that uh, uh, that disgusting that would cause uh, quite a bit of swelling under under your lid uh, sorry dou double iPad application is a skill that will cover in the workshop um, so I, I like to get the patient seated. Uh, you should put their head against the wall because that, that way they, they can't move away from you. And uh, put a bit of um, antibiotic ointment in, usually just in, inside the inferior fornix there. Uh, so you fold the first pad in half, uh, put the other pad over the top. And I like to clean the skin of any grease or makeup and that will allow your, your micropore or paper tape uh, to stick better. And that first piece of tape is quite critical. You, ne you need to get the tension right, you need to get the position of the pad right and then all the other pieces of tape follow. And the idea is to get a nice firm pad so you, you don't want a loose pad otherwise that could potentially rub on the eye and cause more damage than the original injury and uh, you know, hopefully the patient's nice and happy after you put the pad on. If you enjoyed this lecture so far please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash op dot vision. I hope you enjoyed this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.